Hi, I'm Ashley from Sunny Maid, and today we are going to put together block four of our Beginner Skill Builder Sampler quilt. Hi, welcome back. We're at the end of month four. I would like to start off by giving you an apology for not getting out my video last week. Um, we had a kid, he's not really a kid, he's a teenager, um, at church that passed away last week. And he's one of my um, kids' friends. And so we've been dealing with some hard things here at our house this past week. And so I just kind of pushed it aside and decided that I could step away and come back next week and make things better. So, well, not make things better, but to fit, do my video that I had planned. So this month we are working on this beautiful quilt block. In week one, we did the flip and stitch triangle, triangle, diamond within a square. Uh, second week, we learned how to make our uh, quarter square triangles, two colors. Third week, we learned how to trim our quarter square triangles. And now we are going to put our block together. So gather your supplies, get your, you should have one of these, and you should have four quarter square triangles. And then everything should be trimmed to four and a half inches square. So this is gonna be super easy, four and a half inches square. This one, this one, and then you need four pieces of background fabric. That is four and a half inches square as well. So go gather your supplies and we'll get our quilt block put together. Okay, to prep to put together this block, I want you to have your iron getting hot and nice and ready. Um, a few pins are always nice. I have white thread on my machine because I'm using a white background. And let's put this block together. So we're gonna start by putting this one. It's gonna be our center. We're gonna put the white part facing the center. So I've always called these quarter square triangles. These could also be called hourglass if you can see how they have put together. So or how they look. And so if a pattern calls for an hourglass, these are just quarter square, quarter square triangles. And then we're gonna put a background fabric in each of our four corners. Since we're doing, uh, we're gonna do it in three rows. We're just gonna fold this over, set it here. Luckily, on these ones, we don't have to line up any points. So we're just going to fold this one over, this one over, and then we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance all the way down on each of those three. I wanted to give you a little tip on sewing. When you're dealing with points like this, if you wanna make sure that you have a nice point after you've sewn. If you'll notice, I don't know, can we get close enough? Yep. This thread, the thread of my quarter seam that goes right there along the side is gonna go right down that point. And if you line it up and make sure you sew right over that point, when you open it, you're not gonna cut off your point. So let's talk about how we're gonna iron these. Super easy. We are going to iron them, these ones towards the corners. Okay, set the seam, finger press it open. Come back through with our iron. Now because this one goes this way and we wanna make sure we nest our seams, okay, we're gonna do our um, seam towards the middle. 
This may not be always the direction I would go. It does cause a bit of buildup um, thickness right here at the point because you are folding your point back on in itself. Um, I am doing this though because it's easier to fold a regular piece of background fabric towards itself because there's no seams. So if this were a little bit different, I might would have folded the middle toward or folded the middle away so I wasn't creating a big bulk here. Okay, so back to our block. Okay, we're gonna then fold over our three pieces. Make sure your white is going towards the middle block and do a quarter inch down each of those three. Okay, we have these all sewn. We're gonna put orange side down on all of them. That just makes it super easy to remember. We're going to catch those seams, finger press them open, try not to burn your fingers. See, this one is having a hard time bending back, and it's because of all of the fabric that's coming there. So I'm going to just hold it open. Go ahead and get that one done. Hit those seams one more time. Okay. So now we have our block. We should be able to perfectly nest these, so we're just gonna fold this over. If you wanted to do pins, this would be a good spot. We're going to nest these right here. Make sure that they go, one goes one way, one's going the other. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in this one. All right, yep, we're good on that one. Okay, we're gonna sew quarter inch down this one, iron it open, and then we're going to put this one on the other side. So go do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, last seam, got it all done. Did both of them at the same time. Gonna set that seam. This time I'm just gonna push it out towards the side. It's not gonna cause the bulk here. And we're gonna go towards those background fabrics. All right. These ones came out a lot better than these ones, but that's just how it is. Obviously, I didn't trim those up very well. I like this block a lot. I like how we have our, tri or our diamond and then our bigger white diamond around the orange triangles. This is a fun block. All right, we have our quilt block all put together. We're ready to go. We're end of month four. Next month, we're gonna start something new. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the description, the comment section below. I will get them answered and back to you. Again, make sure you like and subscribe so you can follow along next month and I will see you then. Talk to you later. Bye.